Good day. My name is Lalimar Joshua Perez, currently taking up Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management at J. Cherubia State College, Pagadian Annex. Today, I will share to you the 10, 10 things I learned in these three countries in the Holy Lands, Egypt, Jordan, and Israel. First of all, go to the Egypt. Egypt is officially the Arab Republic of Egypt. It is a con transcontinental country spanning the north corner of Africa and the west southwest corner of Asia. Via a land bridge formed by the Sinai Peninsula, it is a border by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, the Gaza Strip or the Palestine, and the Israel to the northeast, the Red Sea to the east, Sudan to the south, and the Libya to the west. The Gulf of Aqaba in the north is separated by the Egypt from Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Cairo is the capital city and the largest city of Egypt, while Alexandria is the second largest city and it's, it is important industrial to the tourist hub at the Mediterranean coast. At approximately 100 million inhabitants, in Egypt. Egypt is uh, uh, is the 14th most populated country in the world. Egypt has one of the longest historic of any country, tracing its heritage along the Nile Delta back to 60, uh, 6 to 14 millennia. Considered a cradle of civilization, ancient Egypt shows some the large, uh, earliest development of writing, agriculture, urbanization, organized religion, and central government. The iconic monuments such as the Giza Necropolis and the Great Sphinx, as well the ruins of Mimpis, Thebes, Karnak, and the Valley of Kings. Egypt, long as a rich culture, heritage in integral part of national identity which reflects in unique transcontinental location being simultaneous Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and the North African. Egypt was an early and important century of the Christianity but was largely Islamic in the 7th century and remained predominantly Sunni Muslim country. Albert with a significant Christian monetary along with others lizard practice and faith. And let's proceed to the top attraction. So let's proceed to the second things I learned in this module of the course, the top attraction in Egypt. The first attraction of Egypt is the Mount Sinai. It is a possible, the same location of the biblical Mount Sinai, the place where according the Bible, Bible, Quran, and Torah, and Moses received the Ten Commandments. It is at 2,285 meters and 7,497 feet moderate high mountain near at the city of Katerine, in the region known as today as Sinai Peninsula. It is surrounded on sides and by high peaks in the mountain range. Next is a church of Sergius and Bacchus. It is formed of the Greek Eastern Orthodox Church dedicated to the Saint Sergius and Bacchus in Constantinople, built between 532 and 536 and converted into mosque during Ottoman Empire. This Byzantine built with a central dome plan was erected in 6th century by the Justinian. Next is a church of Virgin Mary at Zion Ton. was built by the Taufik Khalil Abraham under the supervision of Italian architect Lomeringil. He built a uh, 
at as a manager of the famous Hagia Sophia Church in Istanbul. Upon the upon the vision he has seen the witch a Virgin Mary told him that she would appear in her church at Zion. And next, let's proceed to the country of Jordan. Officially, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan is a Muslim country in Western Asia. It's a situated crossland of Asia, Africa, and Europe within the Levant region. One of the bank of region river, Jordan is a border of by the Saudi, Saudi Arabia to the Southeast Asia. In 1946, Jordan became an independent state officially known as the Hashemite Kingdom of Transjordan. Next, proceed to Airlines of Jordan. The Airlines of Jordan is called Royal Jordanian Airline, formerly known as the Aleya Royal Jordanian Airlines, which is, is a flag carrier of Jordan which are the head office of the capital city for continent from the main base at the Queen Alea International Airport. Over the 500 flights per week and at least of 100 daily departure, it is joined a One World Airlines Alliance in the world. Let's proceed to the half festival of, in Jordan. First of all, the Moharam. Akaba Traditional Arts Festival. And la next is the local cuisine in Jordan. First of is the Mansaf. Next one, Molokia. Next is Warak Enab. And lastly, country of Israel. Uh, Officially, the state of Israel is a country in Western Asia. It is a situation in the southeastern shore of the Mediterranean Sea and the northern shore of the Red Sea. Jordan to the east and Egypt to the west. It also the border Palestinian territories of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip to the west and east. Tel Aviv is the economic and technological center of the country, while the seat government is proclaimed the capital of Jerusalem. Although Israeli sovereignty over East Jerusalem is unrecognized international. And next, the ca capital, uh, the top hotels in Jerusalem. First of all, First of all, In Love Jerusalem Hotel, Eldan Hotel, King David Hotel. Next would be the top attraction in Israel. So, we all know the top attraction in Israel is Bethlehem. Bethlehem is a birthplace of Jesus Christ, the city of Bethlehem located about six miles in the south city of Jerusalem. Bethlehem means house of bread. It was here where David, hometown that the prophet of Samuel, anointed him to the king of Israel. Next one is the manger square, located in the center of the Bethlehem and known as a important square. The manager name takes Jesus was lead after birth according to her beliefs. And last one, Church Nativity. It is the third most visit visited of their tourist attraction in Israel is the Church Nativity. The entrance of, door, of the door of the Church Nativity is a lower around the year of year uh, 1,500 to stop lotters from the divers in card. The last things I share to you, the local cuisine of Israel. First of all, the falafel is the national dish in Israel and eaten by the all Israelites. You can find it throughout the country 
and it's typical Mediterranean dish. It's a small boss and small chip picks mixed with the garlic and parsley and other herbs with the spices and fry. <laughs> As always, the being to dip is the honey mix and the fita. A salad ever, ever sauce the tahani within a hummus and overcooked pickles. Next is a kachopori. Was brought in Israel, was Georgia. Kachopori was originated from Georgia. It, it is a kind of bread baked with three kinds of cheese. Towards end and baking process, the egg is the top of the bread. Next is Maluba. It is known as the Palestinian dish because in a Palestine they consider as Malokba as national dish. It is a mild watering casserole of lamb, egg, and rice. Malokba is a mostly fine in Jerusalem. Ma Malokba is a traditional Iraqi and Lebanese and Palestinians, Gordonians, and Syrians dish throughout the leaven the consists of meat and rice and fried vegetables placing in a pan flip upside down serve hence name Maluk Kuba and that should be all and I hope you enjoy my presentation and once again I am Vladimir Joshua Perez bye